Hello everyone, welcome back to some more of our Three Kingdoms series. We are at the end of a turn here. We just took over the city of Zhangzia from our old vassal of Huangzu, and we also have a Yellow Turban Rebellion that I now have to deal with that uh, was supposed to be something that he had to deal with, but it is what it is. And then we also have an army up here led by uh, Kuai Liang, right? Yes, Kuai Liang. I'm probably not pronouncing that right. But uh, we got him up there because we are at war with Yuan Shu, where our spy currently is. Actually, let's check on our spy. How much? How many points do you have? <gasps> I can have two spies. What's this? Wow, another officer with a grudge against Cao Cao. <laughs> that seems to be a common theme going on here. I guess I... How much... What's our money like right now? Oh, we only have 225... I would like to hire another spy, but we are uh, perhaps a little bit in the, uh, yeah, like, I don't know if I can do that. But in any case, our other spy, mm, we need to wait for his cover to go up more, and then we can do some more stuff. All right, so I think we're done with this turn. We're currently resting, recuperating our Take forces. Invention. Oh my god. I cannot do this. I don't know why... You keep asking me. I can't. I don't have the money to support you, Dong. It is your choice. I just don't. Liu Yao declares war on Sun Tzu. Okay. Hey, anything that can make him weaker, hopefully. Uh, another noble birth? Liu Lu. Oh my goodness. Our family. Like, look at this. We have our insanely powerful level 4 Huang Yuan Ying. Um, then because we got our two sons, our heir. It's weird that our heir, our default heir, is actually younger than you. I wonder why. I mean, I'm assuming that's how it was in the books, right? I wonder why that is. Uh, then we have Liu Min. We got Liu Biao Min. We got Liu Yuan Qi. And now Liu Lu. My goodness, that's, that's a, we're getting a big family. We are busy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Chin has leveled up. Chin, who we have promised to have revenge against Cao Cao at some point, probably will grab Guile. Guile is just pretty good. I like the idea of ambushing. I need to use you at some point. At some point. Uh, let's check on our assignments. Do we have any spots open? We do not. And we also have not this army possible. coming in, and we are still recuperating over here. Now, the amount of money we're making is not fantastic, but it's still at least something. For whatever reason, our spy has been sent to the north. That's okay. And it looks like Yuan Shu is now heading to the south. He's in full march stance. <sighs> He's got a full army. But if he comes down here, we have our wife, Lady Kai guarding this area along with a pretty decent garrison and then if he does instead go over this way we got Ling Yang with his archers being supported by I believe another decently sized garrison yeah so I'm feeling pretty confident in being able to hold the north against him while we continue to deal with things here in the south speaking of hello hmm now I do want to take your farmland but impossible you being here is kind of Like, I can, hmm. Now, we're still recuperating. How long do we have? Two turns? Now, Liu Biao and, and uh, our buddy here, Huang, do not get along necessarily, but we are still pretty good friends. So, we're still going to leave you in here. What to do? What to do? Unification. Now, I'm willing, or willing to leave the rural tax collector in here simply because the amount of money we're making from this province would be mostly from peasantry, and this also supports that. Hmm. Wait, the upgrade is zero? Really? Huh. Well, the, pe the public order, though, will take a pretty big hit. But if it's a free up... Why is it free? Why are all of these free? What? Is there a... Okay, these still cost money. 
Why is this chain free? That's not like that. I mean, I guess we are rolling with a mod. Is it like that? Over here. Well, I guess I can't check because we don't have any free spots. Huh. Requires discipline. That seems odd. We'll grab that. And we do need to take care of... We need to take care of you before you gain a really large army. So I feel like we need to march out here and just take care of it now. Because they are recruiting. Their force is still small though, so we're just going to delegate this. Oh my god. Those who do not bend to authority will break upon it. Jeez. <laughs> um, we will For recruit the those people. who have seen the error of their ways. Satisfaction. We got that. We got the support from the artisans now, so that's fantastic. There is our council mission done that march. we got in the last episode. Rejoice. Your lord has no. returned. And we may have to try and do like an ambush stance. Maybe we'll do that next turn if if they don't come at us this turn. And then besides that, I feel kind of okay with just having our turn end right there. Battle is not always the answer. Sounds so. You just spread your money around thinking you can buy military access. I'm thinking about it. But it's a one time payment for military access. He must want to go through Chin, probably. Because that's him right there. Hold on. Are you at war with Yuan Shu? Who are you at war with? Just the Han Empire, Dong Zhuo, and Yuan Shao. Not Yuan Shu. So he's at war with the people up in the north. You're probably thinking, like, why not do it? It's just because I don't want Cao Cao... I don't want to give him an avenue of attack and uh, potentially have him get stronger. But at the same time, he is at war with other fairly strong people, like Dong Zhuo and Yuan Shao. We're not going to form a coalition. We have promised Chin that we will uh, help him kill Sao Sao. All right, we'll take it for now. You show wisdom. We'll take it for now. So we have lost sight on Yuan Shu's army. I'm guessing he's sitting in Nanyang. Okay, that's to the north of us. I must and now you. you are in a boat. I don't think I can reach you, can I? No, because we'd have to embark on the boats. Hmm. Do any of us have guile? Do we? Any, any of us grab that? I can't remember. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Okay. So we have a 25% chance increase of ambushing. So our ambush success chance here is 70. I wonder if that's also incorporating... It probably is incorporating the stat buff that we have. Because I believe before that, it was like around 40%. And in the trees, it was 100. I think is what was going on. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, Gaogan is back. And then B. Jian. Did you serve someone else? No, it's just still yourself. Hmm. It's still tempting to recruit you, but I don't have... I don't really have that much money. But... Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Desires a higher core position. Oh, nuts. Uh, yeah, about that, my friend. Hmm. Hmm. Clarity shines the path to peace. We do have an assignment that we can do when one of these get back, I believe, that would allow us to give satisfaction. Until that time. How about this fish? I mean, we could just hire him. I don't think that's going to do it, though. Because his... Because it doesn't say, like, lack of something. There's there's some other negative. It's just like they have nothing to do, basically. But this is specifically desires a higher court position. 
Do they get a bonus satisfaction if they are general? Do you have that? Personal ancillaries. Uh, yeah, like lack of purpose. That's it, the minus 14. So he doesn't even have that. Oh, boy. Eight. Ah, uh, man. I don't want to lose you. Now, what we can do is promote him to give him a plus 5 permanent satisfaction. Also, it's going to cost us 800 gold and a permanent plus 25 to his salary. Ugh. I have no other spots open for him. Do we have a reform that can maybe give us another administration slot soon? Okay. So that's two reforms away. We can grab another admin slot. Also, the available assignment could work because I believe an assignment would be... Well, that's something to, to do, but he's lacking a position, though. Ay, 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 ay. Plus eight satisfaction for commanders. Right, I forgot there are reforms that give satisfaction for each different type of commander, and he is a strategist. So his would probably be... There it is. So we could grab that next one. Buff up his satisfaction by 8. And also lower the salaries. He's a strategist, right? Chen is? Yeah, Chen is a strategist. So we could do that. In fact, I think that is what we will do. We should get a warning, I believe, if he's about to, like, defect. I think. Let's hope. Alright, so we got available actions here in Runan. Uh, we got... 3,600. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. That would give us some money, but what about Runan, though? So that would give us some more money for industry instead. We could also just upgrade Runan, and then that would take a little bit of the food. Honestly, I think we should probably just do that first. So let's upgrade the city of Runan. And then ally mobilizes. So Kaimao against Guojia. Okay. All right, yes. Yeah, so now he is just responding to that. I gave him that order like three turns ago. Um, but hey, at least he's on the move now. And for us here, I'm going to try and do an ambush. For China. We're just gonna march out. We're gonna go into an ambush stance out in the Let middle of the open China. and we'll see if we get him. Oh, wait, I can grab the reform right now. What am I doing? Oh, it's this one. Okay, well, let's grab that. Okay, so next reform is in five turns. Cheaper salary, though. I, I think we should be okay. So that's going to hit uh, Guo Jia, Chen Gong, the Kuai brothers. And that's it. That's still a pretty good buff. And I think when the assignments come back, we definitely should put the one that gives plus 10 satisfaction. Because, dang. The satisfaction's kind of low. And I think that's going to do it for the turn. In troubled times, we would be no threat to you. Worries. Yuan Xiao wants to pay me a thousand. Oh, they want my farmer. And my foreman? They want a non-aggression pact, they want these, and are willing to give me a thousand for them. I think I'm okay... Uh, I think I'm okay with forming a non-aggression pact with you, but... I don't want to give any way into my ancillaries. Actually. So if that's what it takes... Then no. Well. Uh, the thing is, like, I can use these for another trade deal that I would want. But a non aggression pact, I guess. I. Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay, you one shot. Okay. My interests currently lie with the Sun family and Dong Zhuo. Okay, he maybe saw our ambush because he walked right around it. He saw our entire army camped out in the middle of nowhere like, do they think they're hiding? 
Heavens misaligned, your general is so distracted they bump into you. You ask them what ails them, and they explain that their astrological signs are misaligned, meaning their future is in disarray. You try to reassure them, but they take little comfort from your words. So Lu Gui... Oh my god... Minus 25 for 20 turns? When he comes back, I think we have to get rid of him. And because we're going to get rid of him, that's the perfect time to employ Gal Gon, right? Let me look at his traits again. Determined, careless, loyal. He is loyal. That's perfect. Recruit. <gasps> oh. A spouse, Zuozi Zulan. So they become one of our nobles as well? How does that work? The absence of people is indicative of China's sickness. Friends. Like, do you get a buff from that? Do we. She doesn't appear in our court, or else she would be in here. Hmm. Wait, I thought your grudge... Oh, no, 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 someone... Uh, Shen's grudge is against Cao Cao. Your grudge is against the Bandit Queen. Isn't that who... That's Jing Jing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you would want re, uh, revenge against the Bandit Queen in the mountains over here. I see. So then maybe that's the promise you made them, then. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna let you keep your guard, because it probably makes you more feel more powerful. Now, it didn't say that our ambush failed, so I guess that means banner. they maybe just walked around Resume naturally. Which kind of makes sense because they've ended their turn in a full march stance in range of our army. So yeah, they probably didn't see it. Hello, Huang Zhu. Do you remember me? You know, the person you pledged your loyalty to and then betrayed that trust. And I was paid the ultimate price. Yeah, the name's Liu Biao. Remember it. Okay. Steal yourself. Well, we would prefer to fight out in the open. I think we have more range than they did, right? Thin line. Let's put these two over here. Three cab over here. Steal yourselves. Stand ready. Okay. And then Lee, you're gonna go lead the cav. Up. Really wish we had flaming arrows. If it comes down to it, we will fight in the trees. I just hate fighting in the trees. It looks very pretty. It's just sometimes hard to see what's going on. Also, I can't see everybody right now. And I'm wary. gonna try and I guess attack their G militia we're gonna get into the trees uh, I'm shifting over so that most of our archers can target the G militia they are unshielded and I want to see if we can kind of prod them into chasing our archers out into the open so we can effectively use our cav because 
because that's the only archer they have. Also, um, we're going to put these archers... Oh, they already are in guard, but never mind. So, they are in the trees, so they will take reduced damage. Watch out! The enemy lies in wait for us! I'm not too worried about their archers, simply because we have so much cav. And we're going to be taking reduced... Actually... I guess both sides are content with what we're doing right now. Well, in that case. Watch out! The enemy lies in wait for us! There you are. I am declining all duels. Alright, son, let's whip around behind them. I guess we lost sight? Ready! Whoa, 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 whoa! Man, how did we not see those? Uh, go into melee mode for this. Oh, Jesus. Hidden units, an ambush. We'll still do a uh, rear attack there. Back. It's a lot of horses. You lack the strength to defeat me. I will crush you for this insult. All right, turn. Take out their archers. Lure their axe band away. Chase those. You're gonna go back into archer mode. Target there. Yeah, that's right. So we're being chased just by one man? Okay. Collapsing on that mountain. Archers are piling in over here. Things seem to be looking pretty good. We'll do our first round of healing. Move! Move! Actually, you come over here support our left. Man, the cap is just so powerful. And we're going to try and do another charge. Charge there. Keep chasing those. You'll be out engage in melee, please. We crush their cab there. We're going to try and pin him down with our swordsman. And then charge the rear of those axe band. Ready to ride? Fight! Cavalry! Mount up! Run! Bowman! Stop! Uh, let's see. Bowman. The enemy warriors are running! Put a couple rounds into those. I forgot to use our flame phoenix. Oh, well, they're routing now. Well. Fall back. Alright, so now I think we need to put Lee Q and uh, Liu Jai. Over here and start focusing on their, their leaders. Can do it. Is that your best? Come on, try harder. All right, you're gonna go after Wang Zhu. Actually, no, no, no. You're gonna go after this cab that came back. Take a look at over here. Nothing has come back over on that side. Put a few rounds into those. You are coming over here. 
Here comes the killer himself. Get in there. Make ready. Archers. Release. And our archers at this point can kind of just chase these units. I'm okay with that. We're gonna form these units up there. The cab has been destroyed. All right, I think. Oh, these guys came back. Okay, archers, focus on those Gian sword guards. Axemen, swordsmen, get ready to engage in case they do not run. Make ready. Move, move. And then our heroes take them off guard mode. Unleash fury. Uh, let's see, Gian Sword Guards are not routing yet. That was surprising. There we go, there we go. And he's just getting bogged down by all of our Cav. Stand ready. Lugong has been routed. Let's go after the Sentinel. Take heed, warriors. The Phoenix rises. It's your special ability. Those guys are all routed. He is about to route. Wow, they actually routed our Saber Militia. Archers, Archers kind of get tucked Hold in back up. here. Axemen, stand by. Blades, prepare. Hurry. Double time. There we go. Now let's go finish off Wang Zhu. Do we have our second heal up yet? Yes, we do. Now, Crockett. Get out of here, Wong. How dare you betray me. He did kill 91 of us. But again, our Lancer Cap is just insane. It's going to be very scary when we come across armies that are like all Cav. Each victory brings stability to the realm. Hmm. Oh, you are his son. I will release you. Release them. And then Luke Gong. A brave, gracious warrior. I will release you as well. Set them loose. They are no threat. And we'll take those that want to join us. To action. For reunification. And then we will chase them down. <laughs> Again. All plans are coming to pass. Well, this time they did not get captured. They died. Uh, we will we will recruit them again. For the greater good. Resist the chaos of Jeez. Chaos. Listen, I try to give them a chance to live, and then I, Ready for you know, chased march. them. Uh, stay in that, and then we're going to go for their farmland, and then go on from there. I, uh, I did my best. This one's kin was killed in battle against my army. How easily family uh, bonds are cleaved. Ouch. We went to war with, with one another. This may not end well. Oh, you think? Oh, that was lost. Okay, so I guess that's gone now. Be still. That's what lost means, right? <laughs> and ooh. Oh, this is just telling us that we have a spot open. Oh, Gao can also become a spy. Who would we want him to go against? 
The Soon family. Well, hold on. Oh, wait, no, he already has a bunch of gear. So this is fine. Alright. Galgan. Infiltrate the Soon family, please. You have a 2040 to your cover. Mm. So let's try and pursue administrative appointments. Now we can actually commit. Our spy efforts to impress have not gone unnoticed. Their false master has openly favored their administrative candidacy should the opportunity arise in the near future. Okay. If we can get this guy, because again, I think... I think if they become an administrator of a territory, I think he can defect with it. Or at least, like, the city, if not the whole commandery. That would be fantastic. Um, and then for this... Hmm, we'll upgrade our house. Alright. And then the remnants of Wangzu lie within this farmland. Oh, wait, hold on. You have level... Oh, did our assignments come back? Oh, no, you just leveled up all on assignment, I guess. Oh, it's just telling us that you're at a 10. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. You're gonna... You're gonna be... You're gonna be gone, buddy. When do you come back? You click on assignments. So you have three turns. You're helping to replenish our forces down here, I believe, right? That's what you're doing? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if they can defect mid-assignment. China cannot go unanswered. I just gave you military access. And now we are at our war? Our family grows larger. Liu Dai is willing to give us 941. Offers you a marriage. Our character will join their faction? My boy? No. <laughs> no. What? No. Your choice. Oh, show. So he's coming. But why? Our spy has been dispatched to another faction. There they will travel the land attempting to ingratiate themselves. So he's working for, or trying to get work for these, for Sensei. When taking a walk one afternoon, you come across two comrades sparring in a courtyard. You watch their fight with great interest. It is as a dance. They move and flow around each other with strength and grace. You leave the encounter feeling truly energized. Relationship deepens between Huang Zhang and our son. Nice. Okay. So, Cao Cao, that traitorous bastard. Um... Okay, we we need to we need to do something here, man. Mm, another legendary character? Wow, wow, wow. I mean, we should probably put the brothers together, right? The thing is, they're both strategists, which is typically not something I enjoy doing, but. They are the brothers, when so... The bow, hold the breath. Oh, I forgot about that line. When drawing the bow, hold the breath. Okay. The brothers will defend the north for us. And I'm going to give you... Hmm... hard I guess two of these although if we get attacked next turn we're not gonna have them I'm guessing they're going to, to attack next turn Your must move. Uh, you still need to move oh they got a whole other army up there you need to move up there ready yourselves 
So we should be able to strike them next turn. And was there anything else with our army? No. What's this? Character developments. Yeah, so she is a legendary. Huh. She doesn't have any flavor text, though. And what's odd is that she's a legendary, but she doesn't have any traits over 100. Interesting. Okay. We got a clay axe. Very good, very good. General appointed. Um, actually, speaking of, let's check out these generals here. So you have your followers. Aha, so UA does not. We will give you a scholar. Oh, wait, no, that's not equipable because, okay, never mind. That's on somebody else. I'm crazy. We will give you authority or resolve. Authority would raise the morale of their troops. Mm, but the, an axe, though, you know? That's just cool. And what skill do you have? Inspiring a Surge. Minus two seconds decrease on cooldown of abilities. Which is neat if we have other abilities or someone else who has that. But both of you <laughs> have Inspiring Surge. Uh, it's fine. That's totally fine. You will inspire each other, but also have no actual abilities for which to aspire. We can invoke the council in one turn. Alright, I guess that's it for this turn. Let's see if Yuan Shu will attack us. You would not need to fear us. Oh. I mean, you still hold the Jade Seal, right? That alone means that we can't be friends with you. You expect too much. You got closer. Ah, the whole move outs. Oh, they're bringing your reinforcements. I see. I see. Oh boy. No. Okay. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money. I could get Shen and we'd have three strategists, but he's on an assignment. And he's going to be here next no. turn. Ah, nuts. Construct a building of the following chain. Settlement administration. I believe that's our main building. I think. Gosh darn it. He has not become an administrator. Well... We can do this only if that we don't get one of those events. Can you do it on your own army? We kind of need this to buy more time. God! Crap. Well. Not possible. Yeah, so he's gonna be able to reinforce next turn. Okay. I don't think there's any way I can get anybody in here this turn. Brothers will have to do what they can with what they've got, I guess. What do we got here? Clarity shines the path to peace. So we gotta level up for our son. Final rush. Oh yeah, right, that's yeah. Fatigue resistance is pretty good, especially since his is cav and they're running all over the place. Actually, yeah, that's That's pretty good. 
Fatigue resistance on cab. That's pretty good. Uh, who else we got? Lou has leveled up. Discipline's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, we'll grab that. That's fine. And then, yeah, you are still very unhappy. I got it. I got it. All right, well. Under one banner. We may be losing Chen destiny. and the brothers. But at the very least, we will be taking you out. Don't want to lose the brothers. Maybe we just retreat with the brothers. Maybe that would be the better thing to do. I gotta think about that. Surprise! So, uh, Guile, I believe it's Guile that allows us to do Vanguard deployment, so that's pretty powerful. So now we have all the horses behind them. They don't even know they are there. And what we will do is angle the rest of our army. Like this, and like march up from this way so that their army will face, you know, that way with their backs open. That is the plan. We still have cavalry to help protect our flanks. Actually, we'll just put you on group one as well. That is kind of a long distance to cover, though. Is it worth it? Can we just march out now? I kind of feel like marching out now, just so we're close enough to really respond. And they're going to be like, oh man, there's a cat behind us. gonna walk everybody and then just fast forward instead save some of our stamina I forgot to walk the archers Uh, about there. All right, let's start running. Watch up. Alright, let's do um, bow mode, start targeting their sentinel. Target those uh, halberds. I will cut out your heart. Shut up and die. All right, son, let's do this. Uh, 
Uh, you're gonna lead those spears on a merry chase. Away from the spears, away from the spears. Break through the center. Come on. All right, go into melee mode. Amazing that you can both talk and Do not fight the spears. Try maneuver with those archers. Back up, back up, back up, back up. The spears trying to close in on us. We need to try and pin them down. Oh man, back up, back up. Going to melee. Cav, go. And then go down, around, and attack. to be struggling. Need some help. If only wars were won with witty words. They can be. Those words are witty enough. Let's buff up our hit points. We're gonna pull back these swords because they're kind of stacked up. Maybe shift them down to the side. Collapsing on those. Actually, we're gonna put these swords over here to try and keep the spear guard busy. Pull back. Keep going after their leader. We're going to send the Ubiao the there as well. Are ha! Oh. Pull back, pull back. Go, go, go. Move, move. Move. We're going to need to do hammer and anvils with these. It would be cool if they kind of pull their G Militia out so we can just hit them from all sides. Where are you going? Engage the spears. Hmm, all right, let's uh, do some recharge on these G Militia. Gonna put our son into those uh, other G. Kill them, please. Focus on that militia. Recharge through the trees. Probably not the greatest. Especially in the spears, but at least they weren't braced against us. The enemy unit flees. What cowards. Ready. We're doing, hopefully we'll break those with that root charge right there. The leader is breaking. Take heed, warrior. Yes, we broke those. Now bounce back on the these G. Swords go through. There we go. There we go. There it is. Whew. I will claim that victory. Again. Well, even our axe band. Look at them getting in there. Wow. Those who do not bend to authority wow. will break apart. <laughs> so many kills. We must lay foundations if we are oh, to Oh, we got built. a treasure worth 500. And then there we go. Huangzu is destroyed. All right. Uh, so, so Kai Mao went back this home. Not happen. We feel honored. He still has the same war target. He's just not marching up there. Meditate on peace. Prepare for war. Prepare for war. What are you going to get? Does not suffer any morale loss in whenever route. I think that's just for him, not his, not his retinue. Hmm. The eight horses. Passive buff, unbreakable. Minus three second decrease cooldown of abilities. 
And it's just always on? Can target if general. Okay, so I'm assuming that just is for our generals. Still, making all of our generals unbreakable, it's kind of... It's kind of crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, we want composure, right. Okay, so grab understanding. Which also gives us higher ranks for new recruits. That's what we'll grab there. And then up here... So, would that also be our garrison is supporting this? It looks like it is, right? Here, I'm going to save it, just in case it's not. But if we have an arrow, that should mean that our garrison will support us. Because the other option we have is to attack Yuan Shu before the reinforcements get there. Pretty sure? Or is that just the army? No, 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 I think that is the city. Okay. Attack! Yeah, so our garrison will come with us as well. Now, they are in a little encampment. They have... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. They've got six archers. Our garrison has six on top of all of this. They'll probably march out of the garrison to fight us in the open field, maybe. I'm kind of curious. A desperate, bold strategy from the brothers. Instead of waiting for Yuan Shao's reinforcements, we attack him in his camp. At the Battle of Chen. Under the cover of rain and darkness, they marched... Oh, it's not darkness, because it's not a night battle, but... The stories will say under the cover of darkness and the, the rain to hide their approach. I surprise you want you on the eve of battle. Look at that, they even took the approach behind the hills. They couldn't even be seen. Our garrison will be coming in behind us. We probably don't want to attack until they get here. Now the towers kinda suck to deal with. But it is what it is. Take heed, warriors. Now we don't have any fire arrows, but I think normal troops can just walk up to the wall and like throw torches. I think, maybe. The thing is, we probably don't want to attack from this way, though. Because of all the arrows. So we will deploy over here. Try and get our garrison over here as well. Alright, so they're not moving our immediately. Garrison is here. Okay, so maybe normal soldiers cannot just burn these. That's going to be annoying. At least only these main towers can attack out in a long range. We're definitely sniping in this situation. I love these portraits. Now, the actual character model is still just like, you know, it's just strategist. So, nothing impressive there. But the portraits, though, look at that badass. He knows we're going to win this. Alright, so we will fast forward. The enemy is not coming out. We're going to walk him as well. So, the plan is focus fire. With this many archers, man, we've got to be able to focus fire down these G militia like boom, boom, boom. Right? I never really thought there was a way that we can destroy these without... Maybe I'm thinking of trebuchets. Oh, you know what it is? You know what I'm thinking of? 
yellow turbans. A lot of the yellow turban infantry, if they stand next to a building, they automatically chuck fire at it. It's just something that they do, like as their favorite pastime, I guess. So that's what I'm thinking about. They would walk up to here and then just start setting everything on fire. What? Go over here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay, so let's make some sense of this. We'll do, I guess, double ranks of archers, just because we have that many. And then for the spears... Something like that. And I guess I didn't move you yet. It's a long march. And if they want to stay within their walls, then we should probably be able to overpower them. The tower is worrying, though, because we have no way to destroy it. Oh, well. I have never had so many archers. Group one. So you be on three. But <laughs> else on group two. Oh, that's so many archers. in range of uh, this one tower. Bowman. Stand ready. Bowman. Stand ready. Go, go. go. Ready. Go. Good luck, my friends. Focus on those crossbows. Steal yourself. Make haste. Faster. Advance. Don't bunch up as much as possible. Archers. Same thing with you guys. Attention, archers. Body. Archers ready. Archers prepare. Double time. Stack up some more ready, in rows. And also we need to put everybody okay, they are all on guard mode. Fantastic. To attention archers. Quick march. Arrows. The enemy. They're all going into loose running. formation. <laughs> that makes sense. Whoa! Halt! I don't know why we are sort of getting out of formation here. Crossbows. I suppose we should do loose formations with those that can. Formation. You are weak. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Load crossbows. Bows. Go, go. Prepare. 
Move out quickly. The time has come. Make haste. This formation. And we are going to send our weak ones to try and capture this gate. Alright, halt. And we're going to go shift over in whatever this formation is. Alright, stop and focus. And you want to try and take that gate. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. Oh, how witty! How very witty! Right, they're facing towards us. We're trying not to target anybody that has. Um. Shields. Sorry. Let's engage there. Maybe we can force the enemy to bunch up. Which would be much preferable for us. All right, half of you on them. The enemy unit Start attacking their other archers. What you guys on the sabers. Make haste. And we're going to start slowly Make feeding ready. our... Um, man, these guys are really bunched up here. Go, go, go. Move, move. We really don't need to be. Is one of their brothers as well? Alright, focus fire on this area. Than your wit. They ain't go in there and see if we can snipe him real quick. The men are out of ammunition. Run, run. Who's out of ammunition? Alright, you back up. God, this is such a the time has come. Move! Destroy them! Make ready! Get in there. Archers. Our archers are so close and like they really just don't need to be. Uh we're going to take out these people. Getting injured. Craven! Mark at the double! Bones! Ready! Show no messy! So we're doing okay. No, it's a little messy. Go, go, go! Run! Archers prepare! A little messy. Because, like, our archers continue to just kind of shift into weird ways. Like, they don't really need to move, but yet they'll move. Run, run. Release missiles. G militia, please. Fire. They're the next big threat. Alright, well, we got the tower. We're going to march in. Take heed, warriors. Ready, foes. Okay, that's <laughs> What if we just do something like do something like this? Because we don't really have that many enemy archers coming at us. You stay close. We're gonna reposition here. I'm trying to make sure that these towers don't get just free hits on us. The enemy warriors are running. All right, now focus fire. 
Actually, focus fire on just that. Everybody right there. Did not send you in. I did not send you in. Alright, next G go up. Here, focus, focus here. Oh my goodness, I didn't think it was going to be this big of a challenge. Just fire the bows. a bunch of friendly fire here. Take heed, Take aim. Our men flee the battlefield. Show them justice. Prepare. With speed. Right, those are not coming back. I feel like we should be doing more damage than what we are doing. Why are we moving here? Go, go. To attention. Locked and ready. Take your positions. Crossbows at the ready. Forget the loose formation. The time has come. Archers. Just march quickly. Line up. Ready bows. Hack them. Hurry. At the ready. Make haste. There we go. Now, fire. We gotta separate these guys. Uh, you come back here. Why are we marching up? They are within range. What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Arc your shots! Why? Our men flee the There you go! Spearmen, stand ready! With me, stand ready! Attend! Move out quickly! Make ready! To battle! Get in there! We're gonna win this! Because we're pummeling all their troops in this one little area. We are losing a lot of melee forces. Dude, I really don't know why you're doing this. Fire upon them. Fire Bowmen. in an arc. Hurry, move. How about fire at will? Will that, will that do it for you? Double time. Move out quickly. Steal yourselves. Are they going to fire now? You know what? That's fine. As long as you're shooting at somebody. The enemy general is fallen. They would know. Oh, we got you one shoe? Excellent. Excellent. Reinforce. We have one more spearman group. And then we'll have to go into archers. Archers, prepare. Run. Make haste. I guess we're almost all out of ammo, aren't we? Shoot, at this point. Make haste. With me. Run. Bolt. Archers, attend. Archers, ready. Let's try and get us around them. The men are out of ammunition. To attention. Quick march. Move out quickly. Go. Without the ammunition, Please our advantage speed. is slight. Faster. 
So we're trying to develop them with the units that we have over here. We're going to have to utilize our archers as melee forces at this point. Just force your way in there. No mercy. Move out quickly. The time has come. You come over here. To attention, archers. Hurry. Attend. Ready. Man, they still have a whole saber calf. Did I send anybody else ready. over there? The oh, because the... Get over here. Make haste. Don't go through the front gates. Strike them down. We're sending our archers around the side gates. For China. Load your boats. For the cause. Take heed, warriors. With speed. Fight. So we got that. Go capture that one. Show them justice. Stand ready. Forget the loose formation. Go, go, go. To battle. We need to try and break this. Help our other archers over there. Archers. March at the double. Move. March quickly. For China. We're gonna send you around. Did you run as well? Oh shit. Make ready. Kill them. Archers attend. Attack. To attention. Crossbows at the ready. Run. All right. Move All right. Quickly. Double time. Quick march. Double time. Bowman, stand ready. All right. Now you come over here. Quickly. Bowman, go go go. Stand ready. Oh boy! All right. At the ready. Dismount. Strike them down. It's time to get in the melee. Spears. To attention, spearmen. Our men are ready. This was a lot messier than I had thought it was going to be. Crossbowmen. March at the double. Faster. Mainly because of all the weird shenanigans with the archers just not standing still. Make ready. You know what? March that way as well. Hurry! The enemy warriors are running. Ha! Double time! Move! Dislodge here. Come over here. Archers ready! Fight! Attend! Do not be left! Unleash fury! Strike! We need to try and overwhelm this position to try and take that tower. Oh, shit, the sabers. Follow them in, follow them in. We're going to win this. It's a long, brutal fight, but damn it, we're going to win this. Do not rout. Do not rout, Yang. We got the tower. Assist them over here. Actually, I'm sorry. You gotta do this. Steal yourselves. To baton. Hold them back. Load Actually, they can do that too. What a desperate charge this is. We're just going hand to hand with the the damn archers. The time has come. To attention. Take heed, warriors. Just get in there. Get in there. Rally to your leaders, rally to the brothers. Spears, do not relent. We're gonna do it. Destroy them. We did it. Make ready. Kinda. They're still ready. technically here. Look, the enemy run. Craven. Go take that tower. Arrows. Go take the Hurry. middle. Move. Double time. Run. We still have one pretty good GM Steal captain, yourself. and that's not bad. Ready, 
In my head, I saw this battle going much differently. Oh my god. I was only attacking one side because I wanted the enemy to focus all their forces at one group so that all of our arrows would hit a bunch of people. And that worked out, kinda. Kinda. I mean, we did win this. It was pretty brutal, but we did win this. Go, go, go! Move! Move up quickly! Fight! Kill them! So, for whatever reason, their strategist is refusing to, to die. Or to route. Let's spread out and grab all the main towers. To attention, archers! Stand ready! Take heed, warriors! Just to try and continue to hit their retreating troops. Oh man, you came back. Nice. Where'd he go? Go go! Make ready! Alright. And the brothers converge on him as well. Battle of the strategies. Enemy warriors are running. We did it! Their gambit worked! The bold strategy of riding out to meet him at his camp. Many died, but it was a victory. Many will retell the tale of how the Archer lines continued to shift uncontrollably from nervousness, I guess. You have taken your first steps into a much larger world. What? China is changing, and it takes only the slightest breeze to send a petal what? into the air. <laughs> they lacked a coherent strategy. All right, so we lost 2,600 troops. Oh, we captured Yuan Shu. Not only did the brothers' bold strategy work in routing Yuan Shu's army, we captured Yuan Shu. And you're damn right, they executed him on the spot. A clean end. And his strategist with him? Well... I mean, we got Yuan Shu. I don't know if we care about Jia Kong. Ambitious, clever... I mean, if he takes over the faction, he's already failed in his duties as a strategist, right? So, if he wants to take power, let him. We are not barbarians. <sighs> and then we'll take any of Yuan Shu's army that wants to join. In service of the Empire. Wow. Meditate on experiences. Absolutely not. Remain flexible. He wants you killed on this day. Commander secured. Yep. That's an old message. We just got the Heavenly Sword from Yuan Shu. Oh, we lost the... That, okay. And we lost the negative French uh, thing, so that's fine. Okay, and then we gotta level up on Liang. What are you going to grab in this victory? Hmm. 25% chance of capturing enemy officers post-battle. In fact, we can say that this is how he learned how to capture enemy officers, because he got Yuan Shu. I don't know how one learns. <laughs> it's not like it's Pokemon. He didn't throw it. A ball out like come here get in the ball and with that army routed I guess we can no. still fight him and just finish Contact him off for good all. but all we have are Impossible. bows they have a little bit of calf remain dormant hmm Madness. And then our spy will not be able to reach an attack in the same turn. Because this is showing his full march movements. Now, I think I think we just go back. We routed their army. Man, but we could probably just murder them. They're so small. They're so small. I can probably even auto-resolve this. Because the forces that took the most damage, Careful yeah, like we're not losing insured. anybody here because the forces that took the most damage was our garrison. All so there we go, we hunted down and killed the rest of his army. May wisdom and still go. can make it back to Chen. Ooh. I would meet with my advisors. 
Sublime intelligence and magnificent brilliance indeed. The brothers. Ha ha ha. Ah, an excellent victory, my friends. An excellent victory. Grain estates. Produce two more food. And more prestige. Also more upkeep, too. We're at 23 food right now. So upgrading that is not super important. In fact, with all this food that we have... Um, let's quickly see before we end this episode. Oh my god, right. I, in, in that battle, I forgot. We were also war against Cao Cao. Oh shit, he may be moving an army over here to Chen. Oh, please don't. Please don't do that. Wow, you have a lot of food as well. You only have six. Excellent. Talk. How about... I don't offer you that much. So it looks like they really want at least four. But then after that, it's kind of like, eh. So can we receive a regular payment? Oh, man. Four food for 97 a turn is not fantastic. He's kind of poor. Hmm. What do you want? Dong Zhuo is very poor in food as well. But he has a little more money to work with. Oh man, yeah, he really wants food. Holy crap. Well, how much are you willing to give me before it gets obscene? 7.4. Like, this is what we're talking about here. Giving away six food of our 23 for basically like a hundred per is a is I think a pretty good deal. Let's try six twenty. Okay, 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 okay. We're not gonna look to give him a fair deal. He's not this is going there we go. This is going to zero. Perfect. So we get six hundred and thirty for ten turns for six food. Actually, I mean I guess we could. We have a lot of food. So why stop there? <laughs> you know? The problem is, is going to be money is, it eventually becomes an issue. See, like, now we're kind of losing out a little bit. So we're going to have to give him 13 at 800. So, nah. We'll go back to the previous deal. Was it 6? Right, it was six for like six hundred and twenty, was that it? Or six thirty? Yeah, we'll do that one. At last, an offer that matches my eminence. Sure. And Liu Dai is poor and poor. Very poor and equal. You can maybe, maybe negotiate with frankly, Wang here. Fair. Or Wang. Ah, well, they don't appreciate the food as much. But they still do appreciate it. Let's see. How much money can we get rid of? Or, oops. Oh, okay. Not nearly as much. Not nearly as much. So three food for a hundred is a bad deal. But I'm going to give it to you. Because, friends, because... She is in a war against the Bandit Queen, whom we have an officer who hates the Bandit Queen, so therefore if we give, which is honestly I think a favorable deal for Wong here for three food for only 115, we'll, we'll kind of support her that way. Strong foundations are built on such small gestures. Indeed. Good luck in your war. All right, so now we're down to 14 food, but our money is now up to 1,000 from those two trade deals. And I think we're going to end it there, friends. Pretty big episode. We wiped out the remnants of this traitor. We made a bold move here with the brothers in a long, long battle, uh, but that eventually got into the destruction and death of Yuan Shu. Hopefully this means our spies army will be ordered to come back home and we don't have to actually fight him directly. And then we'll go from there. Also, we're at a war with Cao Cao. I'm really kind of worried about Cao Cao moving in when we are injured. Because, like, our garrison is also pretty injured. Hmm. 
Well, we will see, friends. I'm going to stay there. We're going to try and hold Chen. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time. Bye.